One person who wasn't disappointing was Kei Tronado. Timeless. Oh my God. This legitimately might be one of the best albums I've heard this year. Hands down. I keep saying it all the time with certain albums, but I've got a nice little list of albums this year that I've dropped that have been phenomenal. I think this year has been a really good year for albums. Wow. Wow. Kei Tronado is something else. I don't think anybody else makes sexy house music like him nobody nobody does it nobody can make house music like this guy nobody can make house music that just makes you want to dance that makes you want to lift up your shirt just midriff only and just shake your fucking hips do that nasty dance again and again and again i want to let the uh, uh, uh. i mean it just makes you want to do that you just want to get up and dance you want to get up and shake your money maker you just want to get up and move the, the thing about it not forget dancing you want to you want to move your body you just, want to, you just want to express yourself through the movement of your fucking body. It doesn't matter if you're on beat or if you're not on beat. You just want to express yourself through your body. It just legitimately, it's impossible to hear a another song and not want to tap your feet. Not want to bop your fucking head or do the fucking little oozy fucking shoulder roll. It's impossible. It's impossible. The guy is amazing. The guy is a freak when it comes to some of these house records. I don't think there's anybody out at the moment that does better house music than fucking Kei Tronado. It's phenomenal. To start the track off with track one, Pressure. It's called Pressure, my G. It's called Pressure. It's called Pressure. And he put the pressure on from minute one. Just boom. You're just vibing. Shoulders are shaking. It's like a deep, girthy, industrial, dark sounding fucking house record. It almost sounds cloudy, lumpy. It's just like getting you fucking ready. And then by the time track two comes on, Rochelle Jordan, those vocals, you know what she does when it comes on dance beats. You know what she does when it comes on fucking house beats. You've heard her album. What was that one? Um, Play With Changes. You've heard the remix album. You know what she does. You know how her voice sounds. Killed it. Cool Up. Killed it. This I don't know who the rapper is. Lou Phelps, first time I heard of him, he destroyed. The only thing I'd say as a slight minus, it would have been better if Kei Trinado got a rapper who was outwardly gay, I think that would have hit better. Especially with him being a gay guy, with him, I think he mentioned before in an, in an interview that he sometimes, I don't think, I'm not sure if you mentioned it like he was upset, but he did mention that a lot of people don't realise that he is gay. And I think if you wanted to just like make that point and kind of stamp it, have some guy come on and just be rapping super flagrantly. Do you know what I mean? Just going for it, right? Doesn't matter who it is, like whoever, I don't care. Um, get some gay guy on there that could just spit and fucking kill it. And I think that would be fucking sick. I'm trying to think of it. Wasn't that artist, there's a, I think there's a rapper that hangs around with um, Telfar. I think so. It's a it's a guy that has like, he does amazing designs on his beard. I think he raps. But is that, anyway, there's many people out there that rap that would have absolutely destroyed. And again, I don't know. Lou Phelps might be gay, but I think that would have been a good chance to just in, to introduce somebody that people don't really know. But to be fair, he did give every, a lot of people chances on there that I haven't really heard of beforehand. And, you know, he's still a great collaborator. But I think that would have been a great chance to get someone on there just to kind of send that message through and just have it kind of and just skip and slide all over the beat because i would have been sick weird first in uh featuring someone called duran burner incredible i don't know why but that weird track made me think i don't know why maybe it's my dj brain but that weird track made me think of who's that group of brothers and sisters infinity song had this like banger on one of their albums I think Infinity Song have a bang on the album called Metamorphosis called Haters Anthem. For some reason, weird made me sound of made me think of Haters Anthem. Maybe they go together, maybe they don't, but keep that in mind. Um Dance Dance Dance, another incredible song, another great it's like an int it's basically like an interlude, but it's better than most people's full records. Um Feel Away versus Don Don featuring Don Tolliver, like just magical again. Don Tolliver's voice is just <sighs> I really want to see him perform, but I also want to see him perform without a backing track. I saw him do a set on, it might have been like, oh, what what festival was that? I forgot what that was. I think it was on YouTube. He did a set on there, but unfortunately he had a backing track. It didn't sound too great. But I think his voice lends itself to perform live, live. I wish somebody would give him that message and say, hey, please perform live without a backing track. It will sound incredible. Uh, still, first in Charlotte Day Wilson. Very, very happy to see Charlotte Day Wilson. She actually has an album out that came out recently. So I'm happy to see that, um, what you call it, Kitchenada keeps his ear on the streets. I think it was called Blue something. Yes, yeah, Cyan Blue, which is an incredible album. Another 
another really good album for this year album of the year potential too um from charlotte Dave wilson recommend you check that out too an amazing track another song that i was really hyped on and i don't really know too much about the artist themselves is the track called Viv um the next track called video featuring vaven Linne incredible track she fucking killed it um seemingly another good track and my favorite of the entire album has to be drip sweat featuring channel trez yo disgusting disgusting i was thinking about this track and his track from Ber the Berghain record which i think is really good because it's it feels like a fucking trip this almost feels the same it says drip sweat and legitimately the first thing that made me think about this was visions i thought about visions nightclub and dawson and i thought about the original the original the original the original the original legitimately made me think of grease Mueller. like if you've been in that main room in grease Mueller when it's sweat and sweaty and everyone's fucking jumping and leaking off the roofs that's what it reminded me it reminded me of a fucking visions and grease Mueller. just a mix of that or even actually forget that maybe even pamela it gave me pamela vibes just like imagine being in a small room and hearing that trip oh. channel trez fucking killed it um please babe stepped in stepped on sorry more than a more than a little bit featuring tintinache again killed it um tinache is having a fucking killer um you know last few months of stuff nasty's been blowing up the charts album soon come she's been on the promo run with nasty i saw her recently on the lot radio she did another appearance somewhere some club somewhere in new york so she's been killing it so big up tinache um the, the, the one of my favorite tracks actually i think even i'm not gonna lie i think due to me featuring anderson pack and sir might be better than the track witchy featuring charles gambino i know that's been leaked and it's been a snippet that people have been going crazy for for a while but i honestly do think due to me featuring charges going to be no sorry, sorry featuring anderson pack and sir track 15 is a standout record standout record stand out so good and then the rest which is comes on like the b-side the extra uh, tracks i wasn't really too fond of them to be fair the, the the best one probably on there might be the one called snap my finger featuring pink pantress um i think is that the record for that maybe the longest record she's been on i'm not too sure because i know she you know pink pantress doesn't like to jump on long songs i think that might be one of the longest songs she's been on um step my finger which is which is like the additional record on like the bonusy typey thing on it um but regardless legit one of my favorite records or favorite albums this year for sure and just a reminder that nobody makes house music like Kei Trinada. nobody makes sexy dancey feeling emotional just euphoric house music like Kei Trinada. he is in a league of his own an absolute league of his own and you just play that first track all the way to the end and it's zero skips unskippable if you skip a record on this you're not human there's something wrong with you if you if you skip record oh, it's not for me i don't care what genre you're into i don't care where you're from i don't care if you can see can't see don't have limbs have limbs this is going to make you feel something at your core level legit listen to this for the first time gave me goosebumps how good it was and i'm not somebody again that gets goosebumps because i'm a hardcore guy but i took this to the gym and i could not help but shake my little flipping waist whilst i was on a fucking squat rack i nearly died a couple of times because i had too much weight on there and i probably should have be benching but <laughs> what a fantastic album so i really recommend you check it out one of my favorites one of my blood clot favorites